picked up from him that's uh, maybe you know helped you out in terms of uh, his offensive knowledge? Um, mainly, like it's a whole new playbook, so like everything I'm picking up is different. So from there, I use what I um, have learned from Tech and try to make that help me in this offense. But so far, it's just you know taking it all in and going from there. You know, a lot of people assume you're going to be the starting quarterback. Do you go in with the background you have as a coach's son, knowing that you have to prove yourself from day one and still sort of work your way into that position? Yeah, no, it's a it's a full competition. Um, everybody's going to have a chance, and I mean, competition I've competed many times, so I'm just going to try to be the best I can, and hopefully that means I get to be on the field. Turp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. I would refer Jack Litch Law Group to anyone that I know because of their professional touch and they get the job done. They get it done timely and they do it right. As you just saw, our clients have trusted us. We need to reward that trust and we have with great results and great service. So call the big dogs right now, don't wait. Find us online at bigdogssmallfirm.com. How Big. tough was that dealing with an injury last season, and um, how has that helped you, you know, improve your game? And how are you feeling, you know, now um, you're back on the field? It definitely makes you appreciate the game more. Uh, I only played two games and like, three quarters last year, so you know that's definitely upsetting to go out with the injury, but it definitely makes you appreciate it. Um, you get to learn a little bit about yourself really going through that, but um, it was a good, a good life lesson for me also. What was, la <coughs> sorry, what was last semester like when you're at Virginia Tech but you knew you were coming here? Were you in contact with your teammates now or were you, what yeah, were you doing? Yeah, no, um, I came up here about three or four times. It was only about a four hour drive, so I was able to come up here on the weekends, um, able to meet with them. Um, able to hang out with them, get to know guys' names, everything like that. So it was very cool that I could take advantage of that, of being so close. So um, it was a good experience. What was that feeling when you got to be back on the field, you know, after dealing with that injury was kind of going your, through your mind now that you're, you know, really getting back into it? Uh, we haven't been back on the field yet, but I'm excited uh, for the first practice. It's been a long time. Uh, the last time I was practicing, I was in a big lake, like, cast type thing. So that's, I don't count that really. But um, looking forward to it. going to be real excited to get back on the field. What was the appeal, having the option to come, go wherever you wanted at that point, to come here and be part of rebuilding um, under? Well, I had prior connections with my dad, uh, him and Coach Loxley had known each other uh, for a very long time. They saw it like 20 years, who knows how correct that is. But um, they had known each other, so my dad trusted him and his scheme and how um, everything would go here. And obviously, Coach Locks being a assistant of Nick Saban is, you know, pretty good. Most of those guys do pretty well. So um, it wasn't too hard to make that decision. Um, once I got on campus, really, I made a decision when I was on campus. So it wasn't um, very hard. When you look at the talent around you at running back, receiver, tight end, how exciting is that to see guys like Anthony Farland and yep. some of the young receivers? Um, I think we have like three or four really good running backs. We got like three really good tight ends. We have all those young receivers that are walking in right now that are pretty great football players, and I'm excited about that. So, yeah, looking forward to it.